Hi guys, in this tutorial, I will be showing you on how to perform full software reload for Logic V5. First, we need to get the software reload that comes with the machine on the front panel. Make sure you put the caster so it won't move easily. Then remove the front panel by pulling it towards you. The software USB drive will be inside the pouch behind the panel. Make sure you put back the front panel correctly. After we already retrieved the USB drive, we need to confirm that the USB and the unit software version is the same version. We can check the software version of the unit by going into utility. Make sure is you already inside the system page, then we will go into about. Here is where you can find the unit software version. And check if it's the same with the software USB drive. To perform the software reload, there are a few things that we need to do and that is to record the serial number and the option key. Make sure you record it by taking a picture or print it out as we will need it later to complete the software reload. We also need to perform a backup for the setting so that we, when we're done with the software reload, we can right away restore all the setting back. And to perform the backup, we need a USB drive. Insert the USB drive into the USB port beside the keyboard. Then by pressing eject, we can check if the USB is already been detected by the unit. Then go into utility. to the system page and to the backup restore check the box user defined configuration and service just in case then we choose our media that is our USB drive. The most important thing that we need to back up is the user defined configuration. That is where all the setting and preset is located. So we click backup. A warning will pop out to confirm our action. Press OK. Because we also check the box for service, there will be another pop-up. Just press OK.
if there are any patient data that you need to back up, please do before we proceed with the software reload. Insert patient, just in, go into data transfer. Click export. And the list of patient will appear. Select the destination that you want to export the data. Wait for a while for the unit to read the destination. For this tutorial, we'll be using the test version. Then click transfer. After completing the patient data export, we can go back to the scanning area. Eject our USB drive. Remove the USB drive and replace it with the software USB drive. To proceed with the USB reload, we need to shut down the unit. and boot up the unit back with the software USB drive attached. Wait until it boot up to the installation option.
to perform a full software reload, we choose the service tool option. And a password dialog will pop up to request a password. Just follow the password given and press OK. It will say load the complete disk. Click next. A confirmation dialog will appear to double confirm our action. Press yes to proceed. This process will take quite some time to perform the software reload. For this tutorial purpose, I will speed it up a bit. Once the software reload is finished, it will say that the process has successfully complete. Then we can click finish. And the unit will shut down. Once it completely shut down, we can remove the USB drive and boot up the machine.
there are a few more steps to complete this process. One, it will request the GE service password. The password, you need to contact your GE service engineer or GE partner to get it because the password is changing every six months. But if you can get the password, you can just press ignore and the unit will skip this process and restart to the enter option key step. Once you have entered the password, then click OK to continue. The unit will request you to put in the serial number. That's why earlier in the video, we record the serial number and option key as you are required to enter it to complete this process. Once you already entered the serial number, click OK and the unit will restart. Here is where we need to enter the option key to complete the software reload process. Once we enter and press OK, the unit will continue to the scanning area. Now, we can restore and import back the user setting and patient data if available. To restore the setting, the process will be almost the same as we do the backup. We insert the USB drive that we use to backup the setting. Go into utility. Backup and restore and choose the user defined configuration. Then choose our media.
and click restore. The unit will restart to complete this process. Once we back in the scanning area, we can proceed with the import patient data that we export previously. We go into patient. Data transfer. Import. Choose our media and select the patient that we want. And click transfer. When all is done, we can eject the USB drive.
Now the unit is up and ready to use. If you like the tutorial, please like, subscribe and click the bell.